All right, hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. I have a few things to catch up on and hopefully I can get it all in there. I'm not gonna share everything uh, because a little bit much, but anyway, uh, one of the elephants in the room is a sheet of cards I picked up at the bins a week ago or so. And um, I will say the bins get quite crazy and there's always people saying, hey, do you want this? And they'll throw it in your cart. Not uh, even looking to see what's in your cart and somebody threw something very heavy on this and almost damaged this. The corners got damaged because, well, obviously, it was, it was in a frame that was broken and I'll just show it to you. Um, so, this is a... Uh, 2009 uh, uncut sheet of the uh, Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. The only card of note is maybe on the staff there, uh, but the Tom Treblehorn right there. He's a good signer, but I'm not going to roll this up and send it to him. There was some tape on the back of it, which I got most of it off of there. Um, but, you know, it's interesting because when you find baseball cards in your cart, whether they're people that really collect cards or not, they're going to bother you about them. And that's no exception. I was sorting through some baseball cards. So someone said, hey, cool, baseball cards or whatever. And, and, and he was really itching to get all the basketball ones and the football ones and whatever. So I think I dumped most of those. Um, let me know if anybody on the 2009 of Volcanoes made it, but I don't recognize any of these names. C.J. Ziegler, Christopher Dominguez, uh, Jeremy Toole, Taylor Rogers, Mario Rodriguez, David Kwanowski, uh, Francisco Peguero, Gary... No, no, I don't think so. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's going to take up some space. Uh, but I did get some cards here. There was a 2022 blaster box or some kind that was full of cards. And when I opened it up, when I mean open it up, I, I noticed that it had been slightly opened and they had just stored their cards in there. So whatever they got on the blaster and they threw some basketball cards in there. I picked up the Kershaw because why not? I think this is a uh, Bryce Harper card here, the City of Walk Off Love. And then I grabbed two basketball cards. I grabbed Luka Doncic and, um, and I grabbed uh, Yusef Nurkic. So those are the only basketball cards and baseball cards I grabbed are the newer ones. Um, then I got these. I did not remember these at all because I don't think that I was buying Bowman back in 91, I think is when this was. Um, there are a few rookies in here. I think they're rookies. Don't quote me on that. These cards, um, some of them are foil and some of them are not. I remember the Rod Carew foil card, and but I can never get the rest of them. But other than that, um, it's always the, the, the oversized Bowman you got to see. Um, but these faces, there's some, been some alteration to each person's face. I don't know what's in some, I mean, some of them are just quite comical, weird. And they're not as bad as the, um, uh, that other product. I can't think of it right now. Um, oh, um, uh, but there's Hensley Mullins there. I think that might be his rookie card because it just says on the back here, uh, what his professional debut was. Um, so there's that one there. Uh, who else do we have here? Note, Paul Russo, Sam Mediello. There's a Ricky Henderson with the foil logo on it. Um, some of them, again, don't have. There's another Ricky Henderson with the, the crossed bats on there. And the, they're in the corner, the gold. I thought they were maybe a special edition card, but I think they actually might be part of the set. I don't really know. I'm looking on CMC to see if there's any difference. I ended up with a ton of duplicates. I thought I had uh, pulled them out there. Um, so I have a whole bunch of extras, which added to the cost of my bill. Uh, there's a George Brett without a logo, Frank Thomas without the logo. Uh, there's a Jose Canseco without out the, uh, the, the foil on there. Uh, Reggie Sanders. This is a kind of cool, the shot heard around the world. So that's pretty neat with the foil logo there in that corner. And then I got two of these Colin, Colin Powell cards. Too bad, I think he's deceased. Um, that would have been a nice one to have him sign. Uh, he signed for me in the past. There's a Barry Bonds. Mind you, all these cards look like they were in mint condition until they hit the store. So there are um, EX. Most of them are EX near mint, unfortunately. So that kills any kind of value they might have had. Um, Jimmy Reese. This guy was old back then. It looks like he was born in 1904 or something crazy. Um, let's see. A coach of the California Angels. It looks like... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like uh, two, or, um, 1904 is when he was born. I don't know if you'd be able to read that there. So, yeah, I got quite a few cards there. Some of them I grabbed for autographing purposes. And there are all the Rod Carews. I think that's card number one, two, three, four, five. 
that's the one I always had. I remember having that one. I think it went into a care package after all these years. And then there's all the rest of them. So that's kind of neat. I ended up with like five of those. So I'll maybe give some of those away in care packages. We'll see. So there is all that. Get out of that out of the way. It's already five minutes just talking about cards. Um, I thought this was pretty comical. There were tons of these in the bins of all different kinds. I, they must have made these up and then just chucked them all. But sometimes people get sloppy with their work at, at businesses and they get rid of things they probably really shouldn't be. So here's a Goodwill Register closed sign. They use that at all the registers. And on the back of it is the uh, Goodwill Return Policy in English and Spanish. So that's kind of interesting. So if you care to read that, you know, certain store merchandise, 14 days, bin apparel uh, is returned as, as is, non-returnable. And that's one thing about the bins. If you have to pay a lot of money at the bins, you're not allowed to return any of it, even if it's broken. So that's just kind of a, that's kind of a good way for Goodwill to get rid of the stuff that they don't think that they can sell or, or, um, or is broken. I did get a couple postcards. Unfortunately, these do cost more money. Um, these cost exactly what a, uh, a uh, regular postage stamp would cost, but it says bus stop, and there's a cannon behind the bus stop there. And, and this is not Camp Lejeune, but it is um, Fort Dix of New Jersey, and then this is also the same one, um, same um, uh, place, and then there's a soldier sticking his tongue out. I just thought those were fun postcards. There was another one. I thought maybe I might be able to use them for something. I don't really know yet. Grab one movie, and VCR tapes are just absolutely just really expensive. You notice that there's no end piece here, and it's been sliced through here. I had to throw back the case because it's so expensive to buy VCR tapes here. But this is John Cryer's Hiding Out. This may not be on DVD. I don't know. But I just thought another fun John Cryer high school movie. I mean, John Cryer. I'm... John Cryer is hiding out, going back to high school. Doesn't he do that in every single movie? Going back to high school? Crazy. When you're a successful broker and the mob wants you dead, there's only one thing to do. Go back to high school. So that, that, that looked really fun there. A fun movie there, which I've never heard of. And I found this. This is the Kodak Ektra 2 camera. I think my mom had one of those. It looks. I think in the old days you could put your name on there. Um, oh, it says something Oshiko. Maybe it said Yoshiko. I don't know. Um, but um, the interesting thing about this camera, I think it takes 110 film, and there's still film in there. It was advanced to uh, picture number 8, so who knows what's on there. It's on to 9. Uh, I took a picture at the bins, and I, I accidentally hit the flash button, and the flash came on. I didn't, didn't, didn't use the flash, but it was so weird that the batteries and the flash are still good. That is crazy. So I picked that up for electronics prices, 69 cents a pound, um, just for old time memories. And then I picked up, there was just mountains of stickers. Um, if you hit the right bin, uh, these are great for Christmas presents or using on packages and stuff like that. So I thought those were kind of cool to use. I got a bunch of those. And then I got a whole pile of Pokemon stickers. These are for reading programs. And, you know, you can use those on postcards you send off to stadiums. And then you more, might be more likely to get a return if there's some kids' stickers on there. And a lot of times I use stickers on the outside of my postcard requests just as attention grabbers. So I thought those were really pretty cool. The Spaceman guy's pretty neat there. I think they're from the Lego movie. But anyway, that is really cool. That is what I have. Uh, like I said, it's really unfortunate with these cards here because I'm not, not really familiar with many of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They'll probably go out in care packages because I'm not really looking to build that set. That's a huge set. Obviously, Rod Carew, I'm not going to get the first five cards signed. That's ridiculous. So those might go in a care package. Oh, and then I'm trying to... There has been no mail the last few days, so I haven't been able to do shoot a proper video and I decided to, to bid on some autographs and I'm getting bid on on the ones I really wanted that's just the thing everybody thought cards were on the way down but uh, still getting out bit of stuff so it's just that's how it always is um, nothing has changed and like I said and there were people that were um, eyeballing my cards at the store just a couple people but still it's kind of weird so uh, let me know what's going on on your part of uh, the 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 um, wherever you're at and thank you for watching